Hello, Sisfer here again. Today I'm going to be showing you an incredibly useful addition I've made to an MC Edit filter by Sefling. The particular filter I'm talking about today is Move Command Block Chords, which is available on his website. Now, I went to use this particular filter because what it is capable of doing is you can take command blocks with various commands inside them and the coordinates, such as these ones here, it allows you an MC edit to retarget them. So they're um, what is known as absolute coordinates, as opposed to the relative ones. In case you don't know, the relative ones are the ones with the tilde at the beginning. So in that case, that would be x plus 1, for example. But say you had a whole load of these targeting one particular place, if you wanted to target another point, you'd have to go through and change all the coordinates. Now it's fairly easy to do it to one, obviously. Well, the filter by Sefling, the move command block chords, it supports stuff like uh, teleport and all the various standard ones that has existed previously. However, when I went to use it, I discovered that set block and test for block, the new commands that are come in 1.7 snapshots and 1.7, um, as of this particular video, are still not supported in his filter. Now, I've got no doubt that it will probably update it, especially if uh, word of this gets back to him anyway. But I'm going to give you a demonstration of how to use it, and the amended filter will also be in the downloads beneath the video itself. Obviously, full credit to Seth playing for the original filter. It's also going to be very useful for those people who decided to build structures in the negative coordinates, such as where I'm here, minus X and minus Z, in the snapshots before the 1.7 pre-release. The reason being is that set block and test for block, normally if I wanted to target, say, this point here, that's the point I would target, which obviously makes sense. In this case, in the brackets, it's minus 104 and minus 452. Well, in the snapshots previous to this, there was a bug that was putting them one out. So when you targeted there, you would actually end up above here, which was uh, obviously a bit problematic. To avoid that, some stuff I was building, I just put it all into the plus coordinates because I just couldn't be bothered messing around with it. But some people did continue to build in the minus coordinates and fixed it by offsetting them by 1, which put it here. So when they spawned it, it ended up there. Well, that's been fixed in 1.7, so if we turn my lovely fountain on... Oh dear. My garden appears to have disappeared. Now that's obviously no real trouble for just one block, but if you had a whole structure spawn a bit or something, that's going to cause you massive problems. Well, this particular edit to the filter will fix that as well. So we're going to demonstrate an MC edit just so you can have a look. So I'll plonk a couple of blocks down. First one, we'll give ourselves the set block. And I'm just going to put these all at 100 just so we can see what's going on. Now, you also have to have what you're setting the block as on the end. So in this case, um, I'm just going to have Minecraft dirt. This is the new way of doing things. You can still use numbers at the moment, but this is a new way. If you don't put something after these coordinates, this filter won't bother to change them because it wants to have at least that many words in it. In fact, I'll just copy that and we will have a test for a block here. There we go. So obviously all 100, 100, 100. So let's hop over to MC Edit and we'll show you how it works. Okay, so here we are in MC Edit. So just to our little garden here and a couple of command blocks that you saw us place. If you just uh, hold down Alt whilst I'm over it, you will see this one is the set block 100, 100, 100. And that one's the test for block 100, 100, 100. Uh, we just need to select the region. So you could have a region with, say, maybe a thousand command blocks inside it if you wanted. It really doesn't matter. Then we go to our filter. And from the list, once you've installed it, you want the move command block coordinates filter. That's the same title as it's always been, same as the original one. So if we just select that. It's as simple as these three little boxes here. So what we have is direction X, 
direction Y and direction Z. And you can go in here, move the mouse wheel up and down and it'll just cycle like that, or you can type into the boxes as you wish. So in this case, I'm going to add 10 onto the Y, the, sorry, the X. The Y I'm going to take five off of, and on the Z I'm going to add on a thousand. So if we just run the filter like that, and just deselect, we'll go back over now, you will see that this one is set block 110 as we added 10 on the X, 95 as we took off five on the Y, and 1100 on the Z as we added a thousand. That's the same for here. And you can run as many times as you like with as many as you like. So if I was to do that again, there you go, 120, 90, 2100, for example. And it'll also enable us to fix our little friend over here, who we know is out by, if you just look this way, X needs to be on this one, another minus one, and Z needs to be a minus one. So if we just select our little friend over here, minus one there, leave the Y alone, and a minus one on the Z, so we might as well fix him whilst we're here, there we go. So if we save that all up now, and we hop back into Minecraft and see how that turned out. Right, and back in Minecraft, we have our little blocks. So if we just open it up, there we go, 120, 90, 2100, and 120, 90, 2100. And obviously we've done the one over here as well. So let's see, we will press the button and fully functioning fountain. There we go. So as it says, um, the updated filter is in the description below this video. Feel free to download it and use it. Uh, if you do find any bugs with it or anything, let me know. It seems to work fine for me. Um, yeah, as it says, wouldn't be surprised if Seth Bling updates his soon. But if he doesn't, or just in the meantime, this should uh, help if you're doing a lot of uh, set block and test for block command work or various structure stuff in the negatives. It all got screwed up once it fixed it. There you go. So new f updated filter for you. So thanks for watching and bye bye. What the fuck is he wearing?